Hi folks and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just do a quick uh, video on a uh, what's been going on on the uh, painting desk and uh, in front of you can see that uh, I've started on the uh, Prussians and uh, first up is a base for the uh, Lanvia. Uh, these are mainly uh, all or games plastic box set. Uh, I think the uh, command himself and the uh, standard bear at the back, just moving the light down a little bit, um, are the metal perries. Uh, Casualty is a metal um, wall or game figure. So uh, yeah, again mixing up the uh, manufacturers. Um, yeah, these guys are great fun to paint, uh, nice and uh, simple. And uh, yeah, come out really well. Uh, the first of uh, many uh prussians so yeah that's the first one um i've been working on at the back uh, this is another land beer unit uh they're getting there slowly but surely just doing the block painting at the moment um so um yeah coming together quite well uh that's the another base and then i've been putting together doing a little bit of conversion uh on some figures uh, for the uh, next uh, two Lanvia, so there's going to be in total, there's going to be four uh, Lanvia bases. Uh, once again, mixture of um, as a uh, metal, I think, wall or games drummer. Uh, they had the flat cap, as I call it, uh, hat. Uh, so I basically took the head off and stuck the uh, Chaco version on there instead because I want to have the other two um, Lanvia battalions with the uh, high shako. Uh, ran out of uh, standard bearers for some of the reason. I don't quite sure what happened. I've only got two. <laughs> I've, um, I've converted a couple of the, uh, I think these are Warlord games. I'm not quite sure because the uh, Warlord game figures seem to have two different uh, types of Lanvia. Um, so I'm not 100 percent sure whether they were um, Wardle games or not, but uh, they've made up uh, the ranks and uh, I've converted two of them into um, standard bearers. Um, yeah, I know the Napoleonic aficionados out there will be screaming Lanvier with flags. <laughs> only the uh, only the Lime regiments had flags, and with that, most of the Lime regiments didn't have flags because the uh, Prussian army of uh, 1813 was uh, bankrupt and blah 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 but uh, <laughs> I love my <the> flags <laughs> it just makes it look good so uh, yeah my land are going to be having flags um, yeah so that's the uh, infantry I've also been working on some more um, land via cavalry um, don't really have much in the line of uh, Lanvia cavalry and plastic, don't have any Prussian cavalry and plastic at the moment. I know Warlords are bringing out the uh, dragoons, so uh, they'll be uh, definitely on my shopping list when they are when they come out. But this is a converted figure. The horse and the main body is actually a Warlord Games French cavalry uh, lancer, I should say, and uh, basically giving him the covered shako and extended his um, jacket to make it look like he's wearing the standard Lambier long jackets. Uh, so there's one of them that's being converted slowly but surely as well. So I'm doing two bases of uh, Lambier cavalry and uh, as I say, this is the one that I've painted up. Um, Solution, Solution. Um, don't know, sorry about that, crucifying <laughs> the pronunciation of that. Um, but I'm basically uh, basing most of mine on the Salesian, Salesian um, Landveer groups. So um, I really like the yellow and the blue contrast colours. So um, yeah, so I can get any closer. Doesn't really help with the hand trick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're, they're not too bad at all. They've come out quite well. And uh, They'll be perfectly uh, usable. Uh, this guy is the officer for the uh, other guys, the uh, tall shakos. Um, th this guy is actually a uh, French uh, chasseur 
um, officer which I had left over. I had a, a, a sprue of those so I've been working on those to give those a little bit of interest. So they kind of, because uh, I've been working on, they're quite good, I'm quite enjoying doing these. Uh, as I say, always good to do conversion. Uh, the white stuff isn't actually the uh, milliput or anything like that. It's actually um, plasticine. I, I, I really struggle using green stuff, blue stuff, whatever you want to call it these days. So um, I use plasticine and then I give it a couple of coats with a paintbrush of uh, the um, glue for uh, plastic figures. It hardens it up really nicely so you can uh, paint it. As I say, I really struggle with green stuff. I've never been able to uh, achieve much. Um, I'm also making conversions of some Prussian Hazars. Again, the horse stuff, <laughs> blankets, whatever you want to call it, they're pretty much the same. Uh, the uniform for the, the Prussian Hazars was pretty much the same. Uh, they didn't wear the uh, coats on their shoulders. Um, so again, pretty easy conversion, uh, French Hazars and Prussian hat. The, uh, the only difference obviously will be converting a one of the trumpeteers was that the uh, Prussians used to have these um, high chevron shoulder things so I'm going to have to put some of those on to uh, convert him but other than that pretty good and he'll do for me so I'll end up with three bases of um, Prussian cavalry as well so uh, that's pretty much a quick catch up what's been going on on my uh, painting desk. It's rapidly having for seven minutes, so I'm going to stop wobbling on. And uh, as always, thanks for taking the time to uh, look at my videos. Uh, any questions, leave them in the uh, messages and I will get back to you. And as always, bye for now.